After days of testimony, a judge orders three men to stand trial for the murder of Egypt Covington. Covington was found tied up and murdered inside her Sumter Township home four years ago. Defender Sean Lay has been closely following the preliminary hearing and prosecutors really took their time making their case, Sean. Yeah, about two and a half days laying out piece and pieces of evidence they say are key evidence pieces here. And the judge agreed sending these guys to face trial for the murder of Egypt Covington. What we wanted to do was get instant reaction from Egypt Covington's brother and his fiance who have been fighting so hard to get answers over these years. It's a huge win. Um, I'm ecstatic. They did a phenomenal job. I was like, fist pumping, <laughs> it's, it's excitement. It's, it's, the, it's now to where we, exactly where we want it to be. And that place where this couple wants to be is at a murder trial. Egypt Covington's brother, Dwayne Turner, and his fiance, Lindsey Brink, and so many others have been through excruciating pain since 2017, when Egypt Covington was found bound by Christmas lights and shot in her head in her own home. A cold case for Van Buren police until MSP took over. Today, a judge said there is enough evidence to send Timothy Moore, his cousin Shandon Groom, both from Toledo, and Moore's brother Shane Evans, who lived three miles from Covington, to face that murder trial after a bitter battle of a preliminary hearing this week. Prosecutors playing a police interview of Shane Evans when Evans said he led the two others right to the duplex Egypt shared with the neighbor across her hall, telling them the unit on the right had marijuana in it and it would be easy to steal. Evans, he confessed to setting up the robbery and leading the code defendants to the crime scene. He confessed he knew Edwards and he knew Edwards was out of town at a festival and he knew that nobody was going to be in that home. And the judge agreed calling Evans' words a confession that Moore and Groom allegedly went into the wrong door, surprising Egypt, who friends say was home watching a movie. Who would have known that um, wrong place, wrong time is in your own home? It's insane. They went to the wrong, wrong door and it can happen to anyone, anyone. Defense attorneys fighting back hard, saying police can place a truck and cell phones tied to the men right at Egypt's home, arguing though, there is no evidence that the men shot and killed Covington and that investigators need to look at a violent man from Egypt's past. Yet the officers in charge of this case never interrogated him. But loved ones say they're finally getting a picture that Egypt Covington did nothing to bring danger to her home that night. I can tell you that she did nothing wrong. Mountain of evidence against these guys presented during this bitter battle in court uh, this week. And guys, one huge question did not get answered. Perhaps it will be answered at the trial why someone shot Egypt Covington in the first place. What actually happened inside her unit? One more thing, guys, DNA, prosecutors and police say from Tim Moore, one of the defendants was found apparently on those Christmas lights. Sean Lane, Local 4, back to you. Wow. Okay, Sean, we appreciate it.